But first, let's go to WHS 11's Anna Rivera. She's live at Waterfront Park, where she's been sort of tracking the debris line as we've been waiting for the river levels to fall and the latest from MSD officials this afternoon. Anna? Well, Doug, over the last couple of days, a lot of us have come down to the to the waterfront to see just how high the water has gotten. But now the water has started to slowly re to recede. And the big thing now is all of the debris that's been left behind. So much plastic, parts of buckets and plastic bottles left behind. Even very large pieces of debris up here on Waterfront Park at this point. And city officials say that there's going to be a long road to recovery. Home still underwater while the city plans for cleanup. Mayor Greg Fisher says it will take more than $2.8 million to fix the damage, and he's hoping to get some help from FEMA. Metro Public Works will be in charge of the cleanup of the debris after floodwaters recede. They're expecting about six inches of sand to be left behind on River Road. They're also encouraging people to help clean up too. They will have pickup times and drop off locations around the city in the coming weeks. If you have damage in your home, MSD is there to help. You can call customer relations at 587-0603 or 540-6000, or you can go to their website, louisvillemsd.org. Uh, as you would imagine, there's a, a quite a bit of backlog with the, uh, the phone lines, so any way that you can get through, get us information on your name, your address, what the issue is, and we can start the inspection process. And you can see just the water line and how far it's come up here on Waterfront Park and how much trash has been left behind. City officials say that they plan on maybe having community days where people can come down to the waterfront in different areas of the city and help to give back and pick up some of this trash. At Waterfront Park, Anna Rivera, WHAS 11 News.